Alright, hey guys, it's Catfish and Vlogs back, and um, today we're actually going to do an unboxing. It's a Shimano reel, I believe it's the 4000, so let's open it up. Um, I actually got this off Amazon for a pretty good deal. I believe it was like 15 bucks, or 12. Yeah, the, not, not the 4000, the 2000. It's the um, IX2000R. And sorry, it's kind of out of focus, but um, that's what it looks like. And I'll get it completely unboxed for you guys. This is the first time of me seeing it too. It actually looks pretty. It looks pretty cool. And uh, so let's get it open. Alright, hold on a second while I get this open. I'll be right back. Alright, so I finally got it open. It's pretty nice. Actually, I really like it. It's it's really smooth. Um, it drags on the back. And this actually has quick fire. And what quick fire is, if you can see that little lever right there, and when you hold that down, and it'll open the bale, then you can cast it out and go like that. Close the bale. And a lot of people mess up their new reels when doing closing the bale. And you shouldn't actually, there's two ways you can like close the bale. So it's open right now. And you can spin and it will actually close by itself. But it's not very good for the reel. It's not really made for it. And uh, so you always want to, well, uh, I wouldn't cast with the quick fire, obviously. And that's quick fire too on it. And, um, you close up the bale manually. You don't want to do it when spinning the reel. And, um, it has something called, unlike Shakespeare, every time you reel it and you bring it back, like that, see, it, it will always go back to the same spot and cast. And then you just want to close it like that, and there you go. And, um, it's a pretty, I actually really like this reel. It's really nice, and it has the uh, switch on the bottom for if you don't want the, when it comes back to you automatically, reverse spooling. I don't know why people would do that, because you just get, like, knots and stuff in your line, but uh, I always have that on. And the line I'm going to be using for this is um, spider wire, and I actually get some right now. Hold on. So that's the spider wire. I'm going to be using Easy Mono and the low of his green. It's 12 pound test. And um, the drags on the back, and the way you take off the spool is um, you open the bale, then you just unscrew it. And there it goes. Okay. So there's the spool. There's the spool. Sorry. And, um, just put it back in and you just start spinning back and then it will stop and there you go so that's my review of the Shimano IX2000R and uh, I really like it it's actually it's fairly decent sized I mean I'm gonna be using this for my catfish and carp I have another rod for a uh, bass that I might do a review on, but I don't know. And um, I really like it. It's nicely made. I mean, there's not a bunch of metal parts because it's kind of the base model. That's one of something that's a little bit better upgrade than closed face. Like I have a old Zepco two hundred two and a three three. And uh, so I'm gonna go spool this up. And put it on my uh, ugly stick GX2. Oh yeah, and by the, the gear ratio is a four by four one gear ratio. It's four one gear ratio. So it's it's not the fastest, but it's also not the slowest, which I kind of wanted. And um, the line capacity is 
18 millimeters by 250 yards, 20 millimeters by 200 yards, and 25 millimeters by 130 yards, and 6 pounds by 170 yards, 8 pounds by 120 yards, and 10 pounds by 100 yards. Even though I have 12 pound, I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to spool this up, and I'll get back to you when it's all spooled up. All right, so I was also thinking I might as well grease it with, I don't actually have any grease with me right now, since this is also the base model. It doesn't come with any oil, which is actually not surprising. I think all Shimano's, if it's over, I believe, $80, it comes with oil, or 60 one of those. But um, I'm actually just going to spray some WD-40 in there, because you can't actually put it in there because I mean there's nothing really in there it's just where you screw it on and there's no components that move really in this there's all the gears actually in here all the gears what people in here because when you spin this it moves the gear that's inside so I just wanted to tell you guys that and um, I'll show you how to put WD-40 in it you'll have to have the smart straw one the one that has like the small little hose on it and uh so, I'll get back to you when I have my WD-40. Alright, see you guys. Alright, so I got my WD-40. And as you can see, as has this straw. I can put it in. And what you want to do is just put this just kind of in there. And just spray a little bit. There we go. And then it should just kind of seep in. You can kind of give it a little bit of a reel. Sorry, that's out of frame, but this iPad doesn't do much justice for that. And actually, I can already tell a difference between how smooth it is. It's pretty amazing. That's why I love this stuff. I mean, when you crank it, it actually gets a WD-40 running through the gears, so I'm going to actually clean this up with some uh, some paper towels, so I'll be right back. So I got this paper towel back, and uh, I'm just going to kind of clean out where I sprayed it, because I don't want any oil actually right there, because that'll... And um, I don't like bait casters, because... I actually got a really cheap one once, and that probably didn't do much for me, but it was like 30 bucks, and or I, ca I was casting it right, I mean, I watched some videos on how to cast one, and uh, I was casting it perfectly, but it's still tangled. Oh yeah, now you can, now it's really smooth. Oh, that's nice. Um... So, I will show you the the rod that I'll put it on. Actually, here, let's just take you outside and I'll put it on. Um, so, no, it's not actually that there. It's too bright. So, uh, I'll be back. I'll come inside. So, there's the rod. There's WD-40. And um, I'll be right back. Alright, so I got the rod back. There it is. It's kind of, it's pretty long, but it is a Ugly Stick GX2. Here, you can actually see the name. And there it is, Ugly Stick GX2. And this rod, I mean, it was pretty expensive, but it wasn't too bad. It was like 40 bucks. And, uh, yeah, sorry, you guys can see my arm. It's putting on the rod, and it actually looks pretty sick. Because they're both the same color. snug on there. Oh yeah, that's nice. Okay. So there it is. It looks awesome. I love it. And it's it's so comfortable. I mean, fit my hand in there really nice. And the only problem I have, since this is kind of the bigger rod, I can't pull the quick fire, so I have to put both my fingers and then just 
put one. Well, actually, no, it's actually okay. I can just do it like that. And I can reel it. And then I get the quick fire, click it, cast out there, click it back, and reel. Oh, this is so nice. I'm actually thinking because it's so smooth that I might use it for bass. Because this, I, um, as you guys know, I usually just fish at. Hold on. Let it focus for a second. Okay, there it goes. And uh, I usually fish at that little pond down there because there's a bunch of catfish and um, carp. But I also fish at um, Lake Lanier. And there's some nice large mouth. Actually, I, I like using soft plastics for this. And uh, for bass. But I'm actually going to go get it spooled up now. I know I've been talking a lot. It's going to end up being a long video, like probably 12 minutes. But I'm going to get it spooled up and um, I'll be back with you guys. And I, I might actually do some um, fishing with it today. It just depends how it goes. Alright, bye. Alright, so I got it spooled up. And I love the way it looks. It looks awesome. I know I said that a lot, but it really does look sick. I really like it. I mean, sure, it's not the nicest reel, but really for what I'm doing, it's perfect. And um, I spooled it up, and I just put this in warm water, and it put the memory up to this little short pull, because when it's not actually warmed up like that, it loses its memory. That's why when going through like transit and all that, it goes, it the line puts memory to that spool, and that's it's been there for like probably a month. Like my line has been on Walmart shelf for probably like a month because that's where I got my line. But now since I put it in warm tap water, like the hottest setting to your um, sink. That's what water I put it in. I put it in there for about 10 minutes. And um, it spooled up great. And I love the color. That low is green. And I heard that this stuff is supposed to work really good. Because no fish can see it. And um, carp, they get very irritated when they see. They get very scared when they see this. So that's my end up review. See you guys. Make sure to like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.